Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about creating the campaigns report in Salesforce. So if you are new to our channel, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that every time we create a new video, you, you will get a notification of it. So in Salesforce, the report of campaigns is essential for tracking the effectiveness of your marketing campaigns, measuring ROI and making the data driven decisions. So let's move ahead and first see what are the campaign reports in Salesforce. So a campaign report in Salesforce provides insights into the performance of your marketing campaigns and it helps you to understand which campaigns are generating the most leads and it helps you to understand which campaigns are generating the most leads and which ones are converting and how much revenue they are bringing in and with this data you can optimize your marketing efforts and improve your overall strategy. So as you can see on the screen these are the types of reports that you can create on campaign. That is campaign report, campaigns with contacts, campaign with leads, campaign with opportunities and campaign with campaign members. So here in this video, I will explain you how you can create. <coughs> so here in this video, I will tell you how you can create report on campaigns. Then the process of creating report on campaigns with contacts, campaign with leads and campaigns with opportunities is going to be the same. And the last report that we will create on campaign is the campaign with campaign members. So let's move ahead and see. So let's move ahead and see how we will create report on campaigns in Salesforce. So as of now, I am in my Salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the reports tab. And for that, we have to click on this app launcher and here search and select reports. And as we click on it, we will navigate to the reports tab. And if you are in the sales application, then you can directly click on the reports tab. And if it is not visible in the sales application, then you can from here also you can go to the app launcher and search and select reports tab. So in the reports tab, we have to click on this new report button. And as we click on this, we will see the category and the report type in the next window. So in this step, we have to select the category for the report that we are going to create. So this report is going to be for campaigns. So here we will select the category as campaigns. And here you can see these are the different report types and these are the standard report types but you can also create a custom report types that i've created right here so as of now i will tell you how you can create a report with campaigns so i will select the report type name as campaign and after selecting the category and the report type we have to click on this start report button so as you can see these are the campaign name displayed on the report table and you can also add filters to generate or remove the records from the report table so for that first we will click on the filters tab and here it is showing my active campaigns for example you have to show all campaigns then you can select the show me field as uh, all campaigns and then click on the apply button and then you can see all campaigns whether it is active or non-active they are visible on the report table and you can also add some additional filters for example uh, you have to filter the campaigns from campaign status so here we will select the field campaign status and the operators will be equal and the value you can select anything according to what you want to display on the report table so here i will display the uh, campaigns that are completed so after selecting the value i will click on the apply button and here you can see these are the only two campaigns that are in completed stages of now so as of now i will remove this filter because i don't need it so as of now you can see only one column in the report table and to add more column you can go to this outline tab and uh, here in the column section you can search and select the columns that you want to add here as you can see the start date column is visible and like this you can also add other columns that you want to add in your report this is how you can add the columns and after entering the filters and the column in the report table you have to save the report for that click on the button save and run and in this window you have to enter the report name so i am naming this uh, report as recent campaign report and the report unique name will be autofilled as we click on it and here you can also enter the report description if required and in the folder you have to select the folder where you have to store this campaign report so as of now i'm selecting the folder public reports and after selecting the folder click on the button select folder and at last click on the save button so as you click on the save the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where you can see all the records of the campaign report so this is how you can create a report on campaigns 
now we'll move to the next part where we will see how to create a report on campaign contacts so for that again we will click on the new report button and category again we will select campaigns and here in the report type we will select the option campaigns with contacts and after selecting the category and report type click on the button start report and here you can see these are the first name last name of the contacts and the campaign name so again in the same way what we have done in the last report we can apply the filters so here i will display all the campaigns so for that i will select all campaigns and click on the apply button and from the outline tab you can also add additional columns like start date end date and other field columns related to the campaign report and after adding the columns you can also add a grouping according to the rows so how to do that you have to go to this group rows section and here search the field by which you have to group the records so here in this report i will group the records with the campaign name so here i will select campaign name and as you can see the records are grouped according to the campaigns so here as you can see the contacts are grouped according to their respective campaigns and this is how you can group the records in a report so as of now our report is completed and you can also add a chart in this report for that you have to simply click on this add chart button and here you will see the display of graph and you can also change the graph format from the settings icon and here i am selecting as of now the column format so this is how you can add a chart to your campaigns report and as of now the report is completed so now we will save and run it so for that click on the button save and run and here again enter the report name report unique name description and select the folder so report name i am entering as new campaigns with contact reports and the report unique name will be out of field and the folder you can select wherever you want to save this report and after selecting the folder click on the save button now you can see the report is saved and it is displayed in the next window where you can see all the records along with the chart that we have added in the campaign report so this is how you can create a report on campaigns with contacts in salesforce lightning so at last we are going to see how you can create a report on campaigns with campaign members so for that again i will navigate to the reports tab so now we are going to create a report on campaign with campaign members and before that let me tell you when when there is a need of creating this report for example you want to analyze how many leads were generated and how many opportunities were created and how much uh, revenue were attributed to these campaigns so with this report we can identify these things like like how many how much revenue was generated by opportunities for the campaigns so for that i will again navigate to the reports tab so in the reports tab we will click on this new report button and here in this step we have to select the category and the report type for the report so again we will select the campaigns as the category and the report type that we do, that we will select for this report is campaigns with campaign members so select the report type and then click on the start report button and you can see these are the records generated on the report table so for this you can also add or remove the fields that you want to uh, display on the report table so here i am removing some fields that i don't need in my report table so from the outline tab on the left hand side you can go to this column section and from here we will remove the columns that we don't need and after this uh, we will apply a filter on this report for that go to the filters tab and here i will select all the campaigns to include in my report table so for that in show me field i will select as all campaigns and then click on the apply button and now i am going to group the records by the campaign name so that we can see the performance of each campaign for that click on the drop down of the column campaign name and then select group rows by this field and here as you can see uh, the campaign members were divided according to their specific campaigns to which they are related with so here we group the report by the campaign name and here we can easily see both the campaign details and the associated leads and contacts and we can also analyze the number of campaigns we got and the number of them who responded and converted leads and with this report we can differentiate the actual cost spent on the campaign and the amount we get after selling the product
so here i will display the actual cost of the campaigns for that i will go to the column section and here i am adding the actual cost in the campaign column and the and we can also display the value won opportunities in the campaign and here you can see in the columns actual cost in campaigns and the and the value won opportunities in the campaign so with this report we can differentiate the actual cost spent on the campaign and the amount we get after selling the product and with this report we can analyze the performance of the campaigns and the campaign members like uh, that which campaigns generated the most business results and the revenue so this is how you can create reports on campaigns in salesforce so this was all about creating the reports for campaigns in salesforce and if you found this video helpful then please give it a thumbs up and share it within your connections and don't forget to subscribe for more salesforce tutorials and if you have any questions or topics you like us to cover then drop a comment below and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next one till then goodbye